go now. I'm going up and fly about. They don't think they're a bird, they think they're a person. They don't think they're a bird, they think they're a person. They don't think they're a bird, they think they're a person. Samson, because I'm the provider of food and I'm the one who spends all the time with him, is bonded with me. We have like a bond. Um, I don't think he sees me, uh, I hope he sort of doesn't anyway, see me as some sort of sexual partner because next year he'd be nine, he'd be sexually mature. But that noise there. That noise he's making, bang on cue, is the noise that he would make to a female. So he recognises me as his partner, really. So what will happen, of course, is when I put him in with Delilah, the female I've got, who's a lot younger at the moment, um, our relationship will change slightly because he'll pair bond with her. So I'll kind of lose him a bit, really, which is a bit sad to think of. But... They'll just see me in a different light. It's a bit like, you know, when your friends, your best friends, and suddenly they get married and they do, you know, they've, they've got other priorities. It's just a bit like that. Let me go So I'm making the most of being so close to him that now because, you know, I know that it will change. <laughs> <laughs> so he recognises me as his partner, really. I'm deeply fond of him. He trusts me, I'm a good source of food, he's relaxed with me, but I certainly couldn't pretend he had emotions. But certainly from me to him, they are. I'm deeply fond of him. I was going to point out your twisted talon. You see? At the back? That one. You messed that up, didn't you? Because how did you do that? You did that because I got you a beautiful, beautiful female Harris and put her in the aviary next to you. And you were so determined to kill her that you got your foot through at an extreme angle trying to punch her in the face or do her some damage of some sort um, and managed to damage her back talon. Such a lovely noise. Eh? Mm -hmm. I love this sociability, this noise he's making now. I, I love to hear it. I go out in the morning and uh, he could, does it, says hello like that and greets me. I've got very, very fond of that, that particular noise, haven't I, Papa? Mm -hmm. eh? So many years alone with me, that was probably a downside. By the time I got him a girl, uh, he was no longer interested. Mm. What do you think? What do you think?
You're beautiful. You're a beautiful boy. I know. I know. You can get them to do stuff through the reward of food. You know, the only thing they, they need you for is for food, ultimately. Look, you've got all that lunch in there, not digested, eh? Come out of the woods with me, little one. Oh! All right, keep your head down. I know you could go back over the top. There we are. If somebody else had food and I didn't, even if it was a total stranger, he'd go to them. He's really clear about what he wants. It's food. So that's what he's flying for. Is that gone? Yes, I've taken the rest away actually, I don't think you need it. He's got the feathers on his head, the way they're all sort of standing up now. Food obviously is the incentive for them to, uh, to do what you want them to do, but the main thing is avoiding stress. So get into the bird's head and think like a bird and work out what it wants and what it's thinking. Can you just call me chess like that way? Love's coming. Well, then, wouldn't you? Uh, Joyce is sitting out there in your aviary. <laughs> Get into the bird's head and think like a bird and work out what it wants and what it's thinking. You know, the main thing is avoiding stress. Hello, mate. How are you? The main thing is avoiding stress. <laughs> Get into the bird's head. Yeah, well, I'm quite chirpy, actually. How are you? The main thing is avoiding stress. Good. Yeah. Where, where are you? Are you in London? Get into the bird's head. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Get into the bird's head and think like a bird and work out what it wants and what it's thinking. What are you doing with that? That's, that's I don't like dogs noise. Can I have this twig back? You don't need the twig. You really don't. It's only a twig. Hmm? I know, we don't have a relationship. No, we don't. Of course we don't. Just hang on, Drew. I'm going to have to go and take Samson back because he's flapping back. Hang on. I'm going to go and put him in his Avery. Uh, if, if the phone cuts out, it's not that I've hung up, it's just that I'm out of signal range, OK? This wooden crate arrived with Samson, who was in a terrible state, all smashed and broken. He was mentally mixed up. It was like his spirit had been totally broken. He used to sit night after night watching TV, getting him used to me. Um, and then got to the point where I flew him free. When I flew him free for the first time, I released him. He could have flown off and I might never have seen him ever again. I thought, I've got to take a chance and let him go. And I did, and he flew off and he glided up the hill. It came to the point where I thought, well, I'm going to have to try and call him back. So I put my glove up and whistled and he came back and landed on the glove. He chose to come back. It was quite emotional and I had a good old cry. And I can genuinely say that actually I really love Samson. I've got a, a, quite a deep love for him. Because it's a, it's a relationship not like any other.
to actually go out and watch him flying from tree to tree and still after all these years him flying back through the trees and landing on my fist particularly sort of from a distance is just it still still lifts my heart so extraordinary to be that close to a wild animal and he is still a wild animal and you still could couldn't you go out and be a wild bird in the bushes eh? I no longer expect you to catch things, but you know that I do expect you to go and fly over them and look as if you might have been interested once. In his youth, he used to catch pheasant for me, and there is nothing like a pheasant that your hawk has caught, nothing like plucking and eating it. It tastes far better than any pheasant that's been ever been shot that you'll ever get, doesn't it? They were lovely, and you got the head, which was a nice bit, a nice hot brain, it's a nice hot pheasant brain. And you were happy with that, and I got the rest. It seemed like a fair deal, didn't it? I'd had a, quite a nasty hang glider accident in which I could have killed myself as the, the glider collapsed when I was in, in the air about 800 feet. It frightened me so much that I thought I'm not going to fly again. I thought if I can get in the air and fly with Samson, that really would be the ultimate really. And so I thought, well, um, I'm going to have to overcome my fear of flying. So I did. And I started to fly with Samson, and he follows me, and we, we soar together. And if the weather's good, we go hang gliding and we fly. It's absolutely amazing. It, it, hard to explain, really, to share the air with an eagle. Fantastically beautiful, amazing, just the colours, just even sitting on his perch, he's still so beautiful. And I suppose he probably can't last much longer and I shall miss him very much. But I just have to sort of steel myself that, you know, that, that one day I'll go out there and he'll probably be dead on the ground. And I think he would be pretty irreplaceable to me. It's, been, it's a sort of gentle but deep affection that's grown up over this years. It's very, very personal and particular, isn't it? To, to this, this particular bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. It helps you to understand them in a much deeper way because you've seen what they see. And that's why Samson and I have got a very special sort of bond or a very special relationship because he doesn't think, oh, well, I'll just fly off and leave him because he knows that I can actually go up and fly with him. I really love Samson. It's a contradiction because he's a killer, but he's, there's a real sort of softness about him. In hawk terms, I think he's got quite a gentle personality and is quite laid back about life. But there you are. We don't have to be like everybody else, do we? Hey?